Is your mum always like that? Not always, no. I mean, it's not like we're even late or anything. But she's just got a lot on her mind, right? Oh, yeah. Quince wants to know how long you're going to be. So how was this club then, Spencer? Loud. Martin. Can't you see I'm trying to have a conversation here? Look, I need to speak to you. So don't you know it's rude to interrupt? Carry on, Spencer. Well, then we met up with this um, bunch of Canadians and Vicky spent the whole night talking to him. Oh, that's not very cool, is it? I didn't mind. I'm sorry, Spencer, but I need a word with my brother. Well, maybe I don't want a word with you. Uh, I was just going, actually. I'll see you later, yeah? Don't you think you're being a little bit immature about this? Well, don't patronise me. I don't understand you being angry. So don't go, then! How are we ever going to sort this out if you and Mum won't even talk to me? That's easy. You change your mind. I've already explained. I can't do that. Then you got yourself a problem, ain't ya? Right, Mark. Might be just telling me about your little trip. <laughs> Listen, I've got one or two things to sort out, but I'll be back in time for you to take a bit of lunch, all right? And that make it for the right with it. I'm making the effort here. Don't be so childish. You didn't see the steak mum was in over breakfast. Three weeks from now, I'm going to be banged up in the cell while he's got his feet up on a beach somewhere. You don't understand the situation. So that's all he ever says. What is the situation, Mark? As far as I can see it, you fancy it's a nice long holiday. So you're going to take a nice long holiday? Mate, you the lucky one. It's not like that at all. But what is it like, then? You see, look, you won't even say. Pack it in, now. And what, are you going to make me? If I have to. No, you're being stupid. Brother, I think you're forgetting something. What's that? Well, I'm a lot bigger than you nowadays. Don't push me, Martin. Don't push ya. If I want to push ya, I'll push ya. Well, stop it, Martin. I'm warning you. Oh, I'm so terrified. Do that again and I'll flatten ya. Stop! <laughs> You don't know anything about me. You don't know anything about my life. It's ridiculous. You're behaving like idiots. You've got idiots. no idea what I've got to go through every single day. Holy! You dare tell me what I should and shouldn't do. <laughs> it's too big for me, are you? Hey, well, come on then. Show me how it's done. If you're that big. <laughs> Steady on, man. Steady on. God, I thought we'd get a bit out of control there. They're going, Winston. I can't do that, man. Oh, Cat, you should come and see this. Their mother's joined in now. You're both very naughty, right. boys. <laughs> okay. Are you all right? I'm not stupid, you know. I know when there's something going on. Tell me it's none of my business, but... How old are you, Spence? Coming up to 18. When I was your age, I was a mother of a three-year-old. Yeah? Damn it. Hello. Martin's run off. Pauline's going back to laundry and it looks like... Oh, Mark's crying. <laughs> what a mess, eh? Cat! Yeah, I'm just coming, Alfie. We'll shove the old lock in the locker. Stuff the store. Stuff all of them. You don't mean that. This is your family. Can I leave you to sort this out? Of course you can. I think me and you better have a talk. You lay one more finger on me. Go on then. If that's what you want. If that's going to make it better for you. Go ahead. I won't fight back. What are you waiting for, Martin? I love you, and I love Mum. I wouldn't do anything to hurt either of you. But this is something I've got to do. One day you'll know why. But until then, I need a bit of understanding. Please? What's happened to the stall? Now, that's a fowler talking. Winston's clearing up the mess. I thought it was more important to come and find you. I know you're scared about the court case and everything, but you're a man now. I should know I've got the bruises to prove it. And however it goes, Martin, you're going to be strong enough to cope. The fact that I can't be there for you breaks my heart. But like I say, this is something I've got to do. What are you not telling me? I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, Martin. I'm not the brother you think I am. That's not true. You're right to feel disappointed in me. I'm disappointed in me. Oh, don't say that. Watching you growing up, I've so wanted you to be proud of me. Especially since Dad died. 
but there's just been too many ghosts. Anyway, Ian said he was going to keep an eye out for you and Mum. <laughs> Ian's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I know. But he's family. And when the crunch time comes, he'll be there. He'll do the business. And there's Derek too, so you won't be completely alone. Are you listening? What do you want from me, Mark? I want you to say it's okay. I want your forgiveness. I've spoken to Winston. Apparently there was a bit of a ruck between Martin and Mark. You come here to talk about Vicky, you can do what you like, cos I'll wash me hands. I really think it could work out, Pauline. She's like the little sister I never had. And I won't be letting her run wild if that's what you're worried about. Can I phone Shell and tell her? I'll go make that phone call. And how are you feeling? Just had a long talk with Mark. Oh, yeah? I think it's probably best we just let him do what he wants. I beg your pardon. Well, what's the point in trying to make him stay if you don't want to? It'll only be more rows. You're going to prison in three weeks. Yeah, you don't have to keep reminding me. And you don't care that he's putting that cow before you? What cow? Lisa. That's what this is all about, isn't it? I didn't say anything about Lisa to me, Mum. No, because he's too ashamed to admit it. It's ain't about Lisa, Mum, or me, or, or anything. You just don't want to go full stop. And what's wrong with that? Nothing. Apart from the fact he's a grown-up now and he should be able to do what he wants. Oh, so I'll be on my own again? Don't be like this. I thought you were on my side. I am. Oh, well, you'd best go as well, then. If I'm going to be on my own, I might as well start getting used to it. <laughs> <laughs>